Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. We are loaded, ladies and gentlemen. I am very happy, happy, happy. But we are loaded on our way home. Home sweet home. That's for sure. I hope you can overhear that noise and when I talk. But hey, a little bit over in the, into this little back road up here. Not too bad actually, but a little bit into it. And it's kind of bad. You got a curve coming around on each side. And uh, we got to figure out how we can get out of here. But anyways, here we go. Looks like we should be able to make it. So, now oh, oh, there's a pickup coming. See, like, it's hard to see, you know, like, you can't see around the corner, you know. It's like, how can I tell that there's a pickup coming, you know? That's why I was a little careful there, but yeah, well, we made her. But, anyways, we're getting our day started right now, so I appreciate you guys tuning in. Yeah, so that's hit the road guys, or we are on the road, but that's hit the, hit the highway, interstate, and let's go home guys. There's miles and miles of trucks rolling into end. What a sight to see, how did it all begin? Corporal Norm said, help me, so the drivers all pitched in. And with hearts of gold, they hit the road for his special friends. Now there's a little piece of heaven brought with every load. When those highway angels come to spread their wings. The world's largest truck convoy rolling down the road. That special athlete, it means everything. Now they all come together the same time every year. Coast to coast, north to south, they graciously appear. Bringing hope and lots of love, loaded on 18 wheels. They'll jam some gears and shed some tears to show how truckers feel. There's a little piece of heaven brought with every load. When those highway angels come to spread their wings. Largest truck convoy rolling down the road To that special athlete, it means everything Well, the humming of the engines The blowing of the horns The black smoke filling up the air It's the greatest show on earth Imagine what it's worth To that smiling face who sees someone that cares there's a little piece of heaven brought with every load When those highway angels come to spread their wings The world's largest truck convoy rolling down the road To that special athlete, it means everything Yeah, the world's largest truck convoy rolling down the road Special athlete, it means everything. Music clip there that I just showed you. Uh huh. 
it is definitely beautiful beautiful sceneries up here so I figured you know what we got to videotape some of this here that's awesome views up here I come through here last time and it was really foggy and stuff like that up here and so then uh, I wasn't really going to show you too much because it was foggy you know but now it's nice and sunny and all that good stuff so I figured you know what right now we're going to show you as much as we possibly can because it's just absolutely gorgeous up here in West Virginia on I-64 westbound and down yeah that's the way it is we are making our way home sweet home we're going to keep that left door closed pretty steadily and we're just going to keep on rolling as much as we can and probably uh, drive three hours or something like that or three and a half before we even stop for the first time and probably just make us some quick sandwiches have our mandatory half an hour break off and then we'll be rolling again yes indeed i hope my days are going to start getting better here soon it's i mean yesterday was a good day don't get me wrong but i had that issue with that exhaust leak there now you know it's, Whenever I use my engine brake now, I can smell the exhaust in here, and I know that's bad for you. It's dangerous too. So yeah, so we gotta be careful on that. But anyways, we are hammered down. Yeah, zigzagging around these mountains up here. I wouldn't be surprised if we have to go through some tunnels again yet. I mean, I went through some tunnels yesterday. I figured I showed them to you last video already, so wasn't going to show them again. But yeah, here we are, just zigzagging around these mountains up here, that's for sure. Yeah, it's definitely gorgeous, that's for sure. Look at that. Going right on the side of the mountain up here, coming up anyway, so. Well, it looks like we got a toll boot coming up in two miles. Oh well, we got the easy pass and it accepts the easy pass and so we're good to go. But this is what I was meaning here earlier. Look at how they cut the mountain away to make this highway up here, right? Eh? I like that. Very nice, very nice. Yes, RJ, I already knew that there's a toll boot coming up. Yeah, even the GPS is having a hard time up here. It's saying speed warning when I'm not even going that speed, you know? It's like having a hard time communicating with the satellites I guess well that's that's okay we will just ignore RJ I guess just gotta look at my speedometer instead but yeah see there it goes again I'm only doing about 63 and it said I was doing 66 I, yeah right <laughs> but anyways we'll continue on cruising along here and like I said, we'll show you as much as we possibly can and make it as interesting as we possibly can. So, look at that. Toll boot, one mile ahead. For cars, it's two bucks. But for trucks, it's probably a little more, which I have no clue how much it actually is because Easy Pass takes care of it. The company pays for it, so I don't really have to worry about it, right? I wonder how come they decided to make a toll boot right here in the middle of the mountains, in the middle of nowhere. There is no man's lands up here, that's for sure. All lanes except the easy cars. Oh, okay, well then we know that. I guess we'll start slowing her down. Got to slow down to 35 up here. So, let's see, that's where that toll boot is supposed to be up here somewhere. I almost think I remember this toll path off here. They've had this area under construction for a little while, I think. And here we are, down to 35. Let's probably move into the right lanes because usually they got the toll in the right lanes. No, I don't know if I remember this one. I think this is a little different. I think so. But every single line says it's accepting easy pass, so. I guess we'll go on this lane up here. Because it's empty right now, right? <laughs> so let's go on this lane. Let's see here. There we go. Thank you. We 
got paid. I know you would. That's right. Here we go. I just kind of don't like it when you have to slow down. Like, look at this. In the middle of nowhere. And why would you decide to have a toll plaza right here? You know? That beats me. I mean, there's no other highways coming onto it up here. I don't get it, but whatever. Yes, that's the way it is. Hey guys, we are here at a petrol, right at the borderline of Ohio and Indiana. Oh, we just had ourselves a good bite to eat, and uh, I said we because of because of that guy over there. Who's Hi, that? Guys. <laughs> Hey, who's that silly, stranger? Right? Who's that stranger over there? Oh yeah, very good. She, actually. She's a movie star. Oh, I don't want to be a movie star. Mm -hmm. I'm making yeah, make be a movie star. <laughs> They'll be calling you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I don't wear makeup. <laughs> I don't either. Yeah. Hey guys. Mhm. Mm <sighs> but anyways, we're just having lunch here. I just finished mine. I had my usual. All of you know what that is. <laughs> trying to be serious and I'm clowning around I'm just messing up the video in my <laughs> 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 yeah right <laughs> but look at that beautiful sunshine out there today I tried but it blinded me when I looked at it yeah, yeah. oh my look never at that. stare at the sun it, it's yeah. not good for your eyes that's what they say yeah but yeah oh we're just taking our 30 minute break over here just happened to be that we're cross crossing each other's path. So yeah, we didn't have to drive out of, out of nobody's way or, way or anything. Just, just happened. Yeah, exactly. And just whatever. Sometimes that happens, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Pale Rider is just north of us ourselves, you know. So would have been nice all three of us together here. Right? His place wouldn't have been able to stand us. They'd mm. have thrown us out of here. They Probably. already asked for a whore in the restroom. <laughs> Well, we don't know about that, but anyways. Well, back me up. They said something <laughs> on that intercom. They, they did say they were looking for something, yes. But, <laughs> hey, I don't know what they were looking for. Maybe they were looking for him. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> uh, anyways, we're having a good fun here. Meeting up a little bit, whatever, so. Rudy bought me a meal. Yeah. I'm a poor, you know, whatever you want to call it. He bought me a meal. He mm -hmm. fed me bread and water. No, okay, bread and tea. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so anyways, we'll uh, finish our lunch here and then uh, we'll talk some more in a little bit. Of course, I guess I could have started the rumor, yeah. That would have eventually gotten to... Oh, <laughs> hi guys! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, well, hey, sometimes I put my foot in my mouth. <laughs> well, people were saying that. They thought that... Is that your girlfriend? Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, we're just walking back to the truck and... <clears throat> catching jukebox off guard. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! We're parked way over there, so... This is a fairly big truck stop, though. It is? Yeah. Lots of, lots of truck parking here, so... So you gotta get some fuel yet? Yeah, I gotta fill the reefer up. There you go. Oh, look at that. What is this motorcycle doing over here? Smile, you're on camera. <laughs> Born to be wild. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that guy likes the spider, eh? Spider man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're parked way over there. Well, you can probably tell. Yeah, I don't have my uh, lug nut covers on yet because I left them at home. I figured I didn't want to take all of them in the big box, you know. I figured I'll put them on when I get back home again once I have my wheels retorqued and all of that. So. It gives the angle something to do. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. But yeah. That's where we're parked. That's for sure. Yeah. Now, wind is starting to pick up a little bit, eh? It is. And if you don't, yeah, it was blowing like crazy. Yeah? Further into Indiana. Huh. Oh, well. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and uh, 
go uh, say goodbye here in a few minutes. Alrighty guys, it's time to say goodbye to Mr. Jukebox. Yep. Hey, nice meeting you again. Absolutely. Yeah. Beautiful sunny day yet, so we got a few hours to go yet. It's Jukebox. Highlight. Go. It's the highlight of my day. Yep. Alright. Okay, we'll uh, we'll get out of here and uh, you have a good one my friend. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, back on the road again. Had us a little bit of a meetup over there with Trucker Jukebox. And a little fun over there. Had us a bite to eat and all that good stuff. Man, that is noisy in here. It is very, very annoying, but what can I do, right? got to get our get our home to get her fixed and all that stuff so uh, so yeah at least we got nice sunshine today beautiful warm day out here today out there uh, Manitoba and Saskatchewan they're calling for snow for the weekend although I don't think we will get any snow at home they're talking further north that we'll get some snow but but Saskatchewan, they already had snow this last week, so here we are, guys, still rolling. Yes, indeed we are. We're actually in Illinois right now. We're still on I-74, hammer down. Well, not hammer down, but, you know, we're going speed limit, or my speed that I like to go at anyways. We're not going speed limit, that's 70 miles an hour. <laughs> That's way too fast for me, especially with my exhaust leak and all of that there right now. I'll be using way too much fuel. I'm already using a lot of fuel because of that, so I ain't going to do that. But, as you can probably see, the sun is starting to dip down over there. And good thing we made that reservation there at the Fly and J, so that way we are guaranteed have a parking spot, indeed we are. Okay, we will have us a full 11 hours worth of driving pretty much in by the, uh, by the end of the day, by the time we get down there to the flying hook in LaSalle, Illinois. That's right. We decided to go 74 instead of going through Chicago because uh, if I go to Chicago, I would have had to stop in uh, Gary, Indiana because I would have probably not been able to go much further than that because of the hours because it's so long to get to Chicago that uh, I would have had to stop there and then I would have been leaving right in the, early in the morning when it's rush hour time so I didn't really want to do that so I decided to go 74 and avoid all of that rush hour up there but yeah, so we should be about quarter to nine, ten to nine or something like that. We should be in La Salle at the Flying J. So that will be awesome. And because we reserved the spot, that usually means we're really close to the building. So we should be able to get good internet tonight. I hope so anyways. And if that's the case, we'll be able to upload a couple of videos here tonight. And that will make me happy. That's for sure. So yeah. yeah. Let's keep our back door or left door closed or whatever you want to call it. Hammer down. We wasted a little bit of time there meeting up with Jukebox. More than I actually wanted. But oh well, that's the way it goes. As soon as you stop somewhere, here goes an hour. <laughs> but anyways, we're still going to make it on home Friday early in the morning, I think. Because if we stop here at quarter to nine or nine o'clock or something like that, that means at seven or quarter after seven tomorrow we can start rolling again. And then uh, if we keep her pretty steady tomorrow, then I can probably stop about 7.30ish tomorrow. And that means uh, at 5.30, quarter to six, I can get going. And only be about maybe two and a half, three hours to Winnipeg. So I'd be in Winnipeg probably for 8 o'clock or 8.30 in the morning, drop my trailer and make my way home right away. I could go straight to Integrity and they could get my truck in the shop right away and fix a few things. 
that's the D. So yeah, we got us another 78 miles to go up to I-39. Then we'll start heading north. I was just told that tomorrow is supposed to be very cold in Manitoba already. Well, very cold, right? But anyways, it's supposed to be cold. Only plus eight of a high, and it's supposed to go down to like one degree overnight. So that'd be right around the borderline where it could snow. So we might even get snowed in Manitoba if it gets that cold. And if that uh, is any moisture in the air, we might see a few flurries. It's a good possibility. But hey, it's October. It snowed before in October, so it's nothing new. You just gotta accept it and live with it, I guess. But anyways, we'll continue on here with our journey and uh, we'll end up in uh, LaSalle, Illinois for tonight. Alrighty guys, it is actually the next morning. I got here to LaSalle last night and uh, just pretty much went straight to bed. Well, before I actually did, I opened the hood and uh, I figured, well, with all the squealing noises and everything and the smoke that I've been smelling and all that, there gotta be some evidence on where it's coming from, right? So I opened up the hood and uh, I discovered where the leak was coming from. It was actually uh, the turbo is bolted onto the manifold and that's where two bolts were very loose and there was actually a big gap in between there. So uh, I decided to tighten them up and I started up the truck again and sped her up a little bit and I didn't hear the noise anymore. So. Uh, I guess here tomorrow morning when we get going we'll find out if uh, we still have that noise or not right so uh, stick around for tomorrow and we'll see if we fixed it ourselves sometimes I said you know you got to be your own mechanic sometimes that's the way it goes but anyways I'm going to go ahead and close this video for today and uh, we will see you again tomorrow so don't go nowhere. <laughs>